go to uh, screens. And then stock guide down there at the bottom. Scroll all the way down, go to product coaches. <laughs> And there, it's the very first one, Ooh. IBD Live Universe. And all it wow. is, this is it's, awesome. Uh, click on that, and it will come up um, and show you. Yeah, okay. So it's just every stock that's above $10, I think. Maybe it might be 15 but uh, and with at least $20 million in dollar volume. So you can then just sort this by dollar volume and and look at the biggest stocks and start working your way down and looking for those that are um, setting up um, mm -hmm. and a lot of these these companies you know mosaic and and fcx i mean they've got a lot of dollar volume the other way that we also uh do it is you it's it's pretty easy to set up screens on market smith where you're you know saying i want to see all stocks within 2% of the 21 day exponential moving average. And then another screen where it's within 2% of the 50 day moving average. And uh, and again, maybe we put uh, an RS rating on it like around 60 or 70, just so they're generally doing well. But what it, you know, it, it takes, you know, 2000 or send me, I'm not sure how many, yeah, there's 2200 stocks here and uh, it'll cut that down to, under 200, a lot of times it might be around 100 stocks. And that's another way to just kind of take a look at what's setting up. And we find a lot of these setups this way. Let's just make a screen real quick and show you how okay. easy it is. New screen. Okay, new screen. New screen. We'll just call it 21 day. And so we'll do price first in the middle area. So cl click on price and maybe a minimum of 10. And then scroll down for dollar volume. Put a minimum of 20, put in 20,000 and that's equal to 20 million versus 21 day. Okay, so just do minimum put minus 2%. Minus how much, two? M yeah, minus two, mm -hmm. two plus two. Okay. Okay. And now let's put an RS rating of, uh, let's say, we'll do 70 down. Yeah, put it up there. Minimum of 70. And that's going to take it down quite a bit. Okay. So now view one, screen one for one six. more. No, no. Okay. And so uh, that you know that's that's an easy way. Now you've you've taken uh, you know eight thousand stocks down to one hundred and forty six, and uh, and basically you could recreate this. And the only thing different you would do is do price versus fifty day and um, same sort of thing, and and you'll get. You know, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes one is larger than the other, but basically, just go through these screens, and it's actually a good way to find things that are are in consolidations, or at least uh, maybe setting up pullbacks, and and you'll get a good feel of what type of stocks um, are out there right now. And uh, and typically, what I do when I have this, I'll, I'll I'll sort it by dollar volume if it's not already in the in the um, screen, uh, you can add it. Mm -hmm. Good. You want to walk Custom me through this, Arusha? Yeah. Wait, what happened? Or Chris? <laughs> well, do what, customize, what do do? customize column layout. Yeah. And go to price and volume. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's one of the last ones. Go down to dollar volume. There it is. And just drag that up next to price change so you can. it'll be easy to see. There, you go. there and, we uh, go. Drag the save. window up a little bit, Allie. The, Drag the what up? The customized column layout window. Click, click on the, the, the whole window. Right there, there we go. There. The, Just, the apply, yeah. Yeah, hit apply. Okay. And we're good to go. All right. And then just sort that column. And you just there start you with that. There you go. Moderna. So we were talking about Moderna earlier. And uh, actually, that's a good way. I mean, this could be 
uh, a pullback. Uh, and if it reverses, you know, that again, this is, this is what we do to try to find these early entries every day.